are very possible to select, and there's a lot of situations they have to go over, but it's a very strong card. It's a, it's, it's a two drop that gives you an extra card. It's just, it's just really good. Considering all the one drops that are already in the deck, you can get another one of those or something that's really good for the situation. So I'll count it out, and of course, again, it has Bronze Beard Synergy. You get two one cost cards. That's like two draw. It's really good. Uh, next up, we have Direwolf Alpha. There's just one of them. Uh, it works very well if your suicide main is a clear. Kind of works with Implosion. Its minions kind of works with the Haunted Creeper. If it has its uh, one ones left behind. Uh, so all right. Um, yeah, kind of nice. Uh, next up, we do have Haunted Creeper. Uh, stats are kind of weak, but of course, its death rattle is really strong with Knife Juggler, and uh, and it. And it's because it has this death rattle, it's strong against uh, AoE, such that your um, mini you'll have minions on the board after they clear your minions. Uh, next up, we have Iron Beak Owl. I mean, one of its all right uh, gets past some taunts if you need that, or some maybe an opposing Zeus Nurbin Egg or a Mad Scientist. Uh, many has very many uses, uh, so I never count out the Owl. Next up, we have Knife Juggler. Very strong card. Works. Very well with Hiron Creeper as I've gone over. Also works with Implosion. And uh, sometimes if you play just one drop, so you can take out one health minion. And it's very good. Uh, and uh, luckily, if they can't deal with it, you just snowball the game from that. Next up, we have Nerubian Egg. Uh, we already went over. It's very strong with Power Overwhelming. It's pretty strong with Beast of Sergeant. Uh, Dire Wolf Alpha. Uh, D D Dark Iron Dwarf. Uh, Defender Argus, all these things, and it's also very strong against uh, AoE because if they clear your board, then you get a 4 4 on the board. Sometimes them clearing your, bo your board is worse than if they left it alone. Uh, then you have Bronze Beard itself. We've already got over a lot of it. Uh, it's a very strong card, um, turns 2 damage into 4 damage. Um, as a joke, it turns 3 damage into 6 damage on your face. And its stats are actually pretty decent. 2, 4, for 3. It's pretty good. As speaking of a 2, 4, for 3, we got an imp game boss. Very strong. Uh, of course, its 1-1s one come out, so those are always good. Uh, basically, makes it a guaranteed at least 3-5 because you get the 1-1 one, one after it takes any damage. Uh, and of course, if you just... It works, this card works crazy well with Defender Vargas. You have game boss, trade it in, you get Defender Vargas, it's crazy good. Um, it also works with uh, Knife Juggler, because the 1-1s the one work with Knife Juggler. And I think that's it, but it, yeah, its stats are really good, and its effect is really good. Implosion, um, very good card, and really bad card. It's 50-50. It's uh, getting a 4 often means you win the game. Getting a 2 really sucks. <laughs> but I already went over it has synergy with Knife Juggler, and uh, it's not bad with the rest of the deck. You get a board that's uh, kind of a pain to deal with. Uh, so, moving along, we got Dark Iron Dwarf. Uh, again, synergy with Bronzebeard. Uh, it's, it's an okay card, stat-wise, but it's pretty good. Uh, not too exciting. Used to, used to be in zoos all the time. They started counting them, but it's back because of Bronzebeard, basically. Uh, moving on, we got uh, Defender of Argus, uh, which is also synergy with Bronzebeard, and it just works well with the deck, like tying up Fire Creeper, tying up Imp Game Boss, tying up uh, Derby and Egg, or pretty much anything can help out a lot. Um, next up, we got Gormok the Impaler. Uh, this one's a newer uh, card in the in the deck. Uh, it's interesting if you can get its value; it's really good. Uh, it's kind of hard to get though, so you have to be aware of that. Sometimes that means like trying to like not trade so you can get it. Uh, it works well with implosion, kind of. If if you get a big four roll, then the next turn you can Gormok. It's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it does technically have synergy with Bronze Beard, but I've never had that happen, so I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, next we have Doom Guard. Um, you don't have, remember, you don't have Void Colors in this deck, so you can't get it out from that. Generally, you just throw it on the board, even though you're going to discard cards, because 5-7 the stats are crazy good, and uh, and it can be burst as well, so it's, it's just a really good card. Uh, and then finally, we have Lothab. Um, oh, 
Speaking of negative uh, of bronze beard synergy, you can discard four cards with it. That's not what you want to do, obviously. So just a joke there. Uh, and finally, Lothab. It does have good synergy with the bronze beard. Basically, guarantees they can't play any spells except for zero. So priest, I guess, and innervate, I guess. That's weird. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so uh, Lothab. Um, basically locks out the board. They can't really clear board generally unless they just frost snow it or something. Uh, and then you'd be able to set up for lethal or win the game or just have a strong board. All right. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave me any comments, questions, or requests in the comment section. Thanks for watching.